Hey everyone, it is day 107 of my study abroad adventure, second day in Prague. And I'm sorry these voiceovers aren't too great, I just thought this would be the most efficient way and get things done. So this day, Chris and I again, I woke up an hour late, Chris had to wake me up, I just need to put my cell phone away from me. But we got out the door pretty good on time, and we decided to do the Jewish district in the morning, right here is the Spanish synagogue. And we did all seven events, which was a little bit of an overload, to be honest. There's a point where you're like, yeah, this, this, this stuff. But like, each one had either like specific ceremony pieces or like one was all about birth, one was all about death, and it all tied together really beautifully. So we started this um, Spanish synagogue, you know, towards, towards the side, and then you head in, we do a couple others, and again, we're the ideas that, that they go behind in their artifacts are all very valuable to them. A lot of beautiful stuff. You may remember when I did the Prague or the Budapest synagogue, it had some really beautiful stuff in it too. So lots and lots of beautiful things. The most interesting part here you're going to see is the graveyard and it is intensive. Like it just kept going and going and there's so many and I mean, it's saddening and just so crazy, and it's they block it in so you can't see it from the outside. You have to go through and walk through it all, and oh, it was, it was a lot. It was a lot, a lot, but the way they have it displayed is so monumental and real tribute to those who lived in the Holocaust time, which then also one of the synagogues before we go through the graveyard the walls are just covered in names of those who were killed during the Holocaust and again it's intensive and monumental so you just see some pictures where you can't tell because it's just name after name after name with dates and it was really impressive but that the Jewish synagogue Jews district was pretty much Christian nice morning we ended at the old new synagogue which is supposed to be the oldest synagogue still in use it was interesting reading there's some tales that the angels brought the tomb or the pillar pieces from the jerusalem t pill tower to this prague synagogue uh, to be returned when the jewish synagogue uh, the jerusalem synagogue is supposed to be rebuilt so, and see here's those names. You're gonna see several pictures of that. And just names on names on names. So, it was really small. That was the biggest thing I kept thinking. We'd walk in and see a big synagogue, kind of like in Budapest, but they were all kind of tiny. But I think that's the point of them being a lot. And we did eventually go to the like modern day one. Like I think that is the big one, but it's closed from November to April for reconstruction. But it is a really colorful outside that you have to you see later on. And this is where the cemetery comes in with all the moss on the tombstones. So, intensive morning. I'm happy we did it, but it was a lot. And then we went to lunch. Where we had pancakes for lunch. I had just some eggs, bacon, and pancakes, but a chai latte that was really good. And it was a really friendly place. Prague really gives an air of friendliness and positivity. It just feels clean and nice. I kind of maybe missed it, but it was just like, yeah, this is a nice city. So that's what we did for lunch. And at that point, we really only had one agenda item left, which was at Charles Bridge, which we could kind of put off. So we kind of decided to roam a little bit to the other synagogue and see what was along the way so you can get some random pictures but the big thing was powdered tower which we had saw from the clock tower the day before that we passed it and went up well we saw it and we decided oh cool let's go through it because it's like a tower that the road goes through but then we're like oh you can go up and so we wanted to go up but i had to tell you what was fun about it is i'm definitely getting comfortable with kristen because i'm joking with her and serious with her is uh, we were walking and we saw it, because when we were walking to the Jewish district, we saw it and we're like, oh yeah, that's that thing. And then when coming back, we ran into it and that was kind of cool. And we were like, hey, that's that thing. And I'm like, yeah, it's a thing. So it must be important. And she just laughed, like, yeah. And then I look at her, you are a thing. So you are important. 
and she kind of got it and we kind of laughed. And it's really funny because then later on there was a something and it wasn't that important. So the important thing is, is that you guys aren't something, you are a thing. So you are important. <laughs> and that's how we define things. Because even that was later on, it was a gate. That was all. I just was like, hey, what do you think that is? And we decided it was a hotel. <laughs> and so it wasn't really anything important. But it was a something. And at that point, too, I was like, Kristen, where are we going again? <laughs> I was really trusting her to just lead the way. And sometimes we forget what we were doing. But anyway, so the tower, and we roamed, and we saw the synagogue. And then we did go back to the car. And we decided we drove, well, we first drove by City Square, where you're going to see a statue that moves, that my Uncle Jeff showed me a Facebook video of it back in June or something. I'm not sure, but I went and checked it out just because he suggested it. But we kind of had to cheat, and, like, Kristen jumped out, took the video, and I, like, went around the block and came up, because just parking is so not worth it, and that's just so sad. I think that... That's the biggest problem with Prague was parking was almost impossible. Which is why when we saw the Charles Bridge, we decided to go park back at the hostel so the car was just kind of done with and we would walk because it was like a half an hour, half a mile or something back to the bridge, which meant we could walk next to the river and it was really actually quite nice and we were really happy that we actually did make it to the bridge with the sun still up so there's some pictures of the bridge and the statues on the bridge, hopefully you can pick them out. The, it's a walking bridge, there's no cars, and so there was sales, like, festival, like, stands, and a band, and it was really intensive and really cool, and we got to the other side, and we explored that a little bit, and we went to a graffiti wall. It has a special name that, I guess, these walls are a big deal of graffiti, and I mean, it's covered. I was anticipating one that had, like, a lot of words and kind of just spacey, but was, like, more intensive than normal, but, like, this is a wall that has been covered multiple times with different political views and religious views and like statements and so you'll see some pictures from that i it was cool but it was really weird just randomly there and like there was plenty of people around some people even had spray paint or spraying something and at that point we decided it was like not late enough to quite to have dinner but it wasn't a whole lot to do on that side of the river so we decided to walk back and we saw the dancing house which is just a weird uh, building that the designer decided to make. And we also got to go up to the bar restaurant upstairs and take a couple pictures. They didn't come out well because of the light reflection and things, but it was cool to go do it. And then we had dinner, and when it was a place that's trying to renew the drinking community of Prague, and it was really good. Uh, the coolest part was they had the Hungarian pig that I talked about before, the hairy pig, they had a specialty on it and even on the back side of that menu item and you see a picture of this is them talking about this Hungarian pig and it's just like we're in the Czech Republic, why are we talking about the Hungarian specialty? But we didn't try that. I had again some steak and potatoes which was really good but it wasn't filling so Chris and I would go on to find some dessert. But. Coming up, this picture here is a genius with a lion, and it made me laugh because I'm like, it's a, you can't be a genius without a lion, so I'm now a genius because I don't have a lion, so anyone who complains, you can just pull out that one. So after dinner, Kristen and I were going to get dessert, but first we thought we should get gas because we meant to do that before we parked the car at the hotel, but decided to get gas, so it was one less thing to worry about in the morning when this took us. I was like, well, let's just go farther away than the closest one just to see a little more of the city but then to go to like the dessert place was heavy traffic so we decided we tried and then it was we tried to find one and we couldn't see it so then it was like let's just go back to the uh, hostel and park and then go find something to eat but going out to the gas station it was pretty hysterical trying to figure it out and I she thinks the people inside were laughing at us, and I still don't know if you're supposed to pay first or pay second. That billboard of George Clooney from a distance, I wasn't sure it was him, so I love the picture. It's like, yep, that's George Clooney, and we saw him a couple of different places. Oh, you're also going to see, as we wandered around, we went and saw the opera house as well as the park where the train station was, which is where I dropped Kristen off the next morning, is uh, a statue of Woodrow Wilson. 
for what he did in helping make the Czech Republic instead of being a monarchy in the early 1900s. So I need to research how many U.S. president statues are outside of America because now I've seen two. So After coming back from the gas station, we just went across the street. It was a bookstore cafe, and I had peanut butter cheesecake. That would probably be the very last picture. And it was probably the best peanut butter cheesecake I've ever had. It was really good. So, that the Globe Cafe and bookstore, I would suggest it to anyone. It was, And she, Kristen had a brownie with uh, ice cream that I helped her finish, and it was really good. That's that synagogue, the regular one, and it is just so colorful. I never would associate that with a synagogue. And here comes the pictures of Woodrow Wilson. It just blows my mind. U.S. presidents outside of America. Yeah, then after I explored the bookstore a little bit, I did buy a Prague history book because I had Prague money to spend <laughs> and thought maybe it would be a good one for the flight home, maybe. And then came back and I tried to finish up this vlog a little bit, but the Wi-Fi, my laptop, were just not agreeing very well. But Chris and I went to bed very early and that was the agenda. So the ideas I forgot to talk about before is on the drive to Prague. See, this is that statue I was telling you about. It's going to swirl and change and be all cool. On the way to Prague, we went through a tunnel. I honked, but it did not sound as cool as in the Rocky Mountains. And it was very long, but not as long as on the Rocky Mountains. But it was very long. And that was really cool. Another thing was the day before at the pasta place, I had black truffle. Never had that before. I don't know what it was. I don't know how, if it was really that good or that bad. But I had it. By that point, I guess I'll leave it. If I think of other things, I'll definitely catch up later. And I hope you're enjoying this. It's, I know it's just a lot of picture overload this weekend, but it's kind of how I figured they can just speak for themselves because I don't really have a tour guide helping me know this stuff either. I'm just kind of seeing it and being like, that's cool. So thank you. And as always, thanks for staying tuned to my adventure.
Pecador 